okay so here's the next job uh, that I'm that I'll be doing um, which as you can see is a um, Ford 9 inch all strange apart from the gears we've gone motive with this one um, full strange uh, 9 inch because um, we finished the uh, the uh, Borg Warner um, so yeah I'll just run through a few things with this one we've got the uh, strange pro iron case here um, awesome cases um, got a lot more meat in around here um, dual rib nodular iron um, once again a lot more meat around the back here where the uh, where the spigot bearing runs and such um, heavy duty heavy duty main caps and a different style of retainer as well um, so yeah very very nice very nice piece indeed um, turn it around again uh yeah so once again very very nice piece um we've got the uh eaton true track true track there for it um a uh, 1350 yoke um there uh arp what have we got in here arp uh kit we've got the spigot bearing retainer um new nut um and, and your arp fasteners for your, your crown wheel bolts which are um yeah they're a three-quarter socket head on them ones we got the uh, the Daytona pinion support, nice piece in there. Uh, solid pinion spacer naturally. Uh, all new all new um, uh, uh, pinion support bolts. Um, big pinion support bearing. Uh, like I said once again, that's the uh, the Daytona pinion support. Strange naturally, um, and a set of motive gears. And the last day, the the last dip that I did, which was the uh, well the one before this one, which was the Dana 44, where you used motives in that, and they set up really nicely too. Um, so yeah, so I've actually gone back to using uh, motives at the moment, and um, and having a fair fair old amount of success with them. So um, hence the reason I'm using them in this job as well. So yeah, just a, another quick run through. We've got our strange pro iron case there, um, 30, 31 spline true track. Um, 1350 yoke in there. Uh, you retain your bolts. Uh, we've got our bearings, um, the the uh, true track carrier bearings there, or LSD bearings, whatever you want to call them. Um, our motive gear set and uh, Daytona pinion support once again. Um, solid spacer uh, seal and um, all the stuff we need. So yeah. Uh, once again, looking forward to that one. I'll get it on the uh, on the bench mule here. Okay, so plugging away on the uh, on the um, strange nine inch build. Um, got the case on the on the bench mule there. Uh, all ready to go. I just still need to install the spigot bearing. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we've got our ARP bolts here. I just thought I'd just show you the um, the true track. Here's the the uh, Eaton true track that we'll be using. Naturally, genuine. Genuine Eaton True Track, um, very nice bit of kit. Um, as you can see, I don't know how well that'll pick it up, but um, helicoil worm drive. Uh, and on that side, might pick it up a little bit better. Um, there's the helicoil drive. Um, so yeah, once again, nice bit of kit. Um, got our spigot bearing there, all ready to go. I've set up the pinion. Um, all come up very nicely. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm just plugging away at it. I don't know how much of this I'll record or video because um, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm absolutely flat out at the moment. So uh, yeah, so just a quick one on that one. Uh, once again, I'll just I'll put the get the ring gear um, installed on here, bearings pressed, and then I'll get ready and um, start dummying everything up in there. Um, so yeah, like I said, just a quick quick recap as to as to what we're doing on the uh, on the Reaper. Reaper Charger 9 inch uh, nine inch build. Okay, so I've um, installed the uh, ring gear. Um, everything's just temporary at the moment, like the, the bolts and everything are just holding, because what we actually do is heat this, heat the gear set up so we can just slip it on here nicely without bashing bashing the gear set on or um, some people do is they draw it on with the with the um, with the actual bolts themselves which is a really bad idea to do because you can uh, damage damage both threads either in the crown wheel and or in the bolt itself um, you know this is all still quite warm to touch um, like I said I've had it on the induction heater um, to 
<clears throat> make it grow a little bit to put it on onto another cold so that it just just once again just slips on there all nicely so uh, that's that step so what I'll do next is um, put uh, lock tight and um, assembly assembly lubricant on the um, base of the base of the bolt heads um, and naturally lock tight on the on the threads um, and then uh, talk them down to what the ARP specifications are, which is uh, 85 foot pounds um, of torque. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that one. Uh, so yeah, once again, uh, on to the next step, which will be uh, waiting for this to cool down cold, um, and then uh, and then talk the uh, talk the ARP bolts down. Okay, so we've got the ARP bolts all um, fastened down at 85. It was, it was 85 foot pounds. Uh, where are we? Yes, to 85 foot pounds. Um, once again, we've got the uh, pinion support all sorted out as well. Uh, so now what I'll do, I've installed the um, the spigot bearing and retainer in there, little star retainer. Um, so now what I'll do is get the uh, carrier sitting in there. Uh, put the main caps on and, and once again just get it all sitting in there and then um, yeah start marking around with the uh, the pinion heights and and back backlash um, just show you guys the inside of these caps you know they're all all very nice very nice stuff so yeah it's, it's good, good to work with this sort of stuff and as you can see the actual bolts themselves are very long so um, yeah once again they go go a um a fair way into the into the actual housing themselves which make them a lot stronger so yeah cool all righty so uh, i'll uh, just uh, keep uh, plugging away and uh, do quick updates when i uh, oh and um yeah i've just uh well i've just finished washing down washing down this diff that's the next one on the on the on the cards and i've just had another one uh this one out here i've just had this one um delivered as well so that's another one that we're going to be doing um, looks like somebody's had a go at uh, changing the spigot size and also doing um, late model late model um, conversion so um, yeah more good stuff on the way okay so I've started dummying up uh, the diff um, to get our pinion height and backlash correct um, installed the uh, the uh, pinion and pinion support um, got the the true track in there um, like I said I haven't even marked it up yet so I'll do that now but um, it's actually you can see where it's actually even running already um, both sides so I reckon this is going to look pretty good actually by the time I get it all get some paste on there and um, and check that out but uh, yeah so um, once again we'll just uh, keep keep plugging away at it and uh, yeah just keep going so I've just put some um, marking paste on the actual diff, on the gears, sorry. Um, and as I suspected, absolutely perfect. Um, so now I can go ahead uh, and finish finish off the actual diff itself. Um, get, it, get all my um, preloads correct. Um, I've set it up. They recommend between um, 9 and 7 thou, yeah, 7 and 9 thou uh, backlash. Uh, with these gear sets uh, so I've set it up at 8 um, and as you can see absolutely perfect uh, as many people might know I only mark with the marking paste from here to here and then um, turn it over so everywhere else that you can see um, is a true indication of where the uh, where the tooth is rubbing because it's uh, or running because it's um, because the uh, marking paste is is rubbing off um, from the the mark that it's from the the pace that it takes from this one transfers onto the uh, onto the pinion gear down in there and then um, back up back to the the tooth again um, so yeah once again as you can see absolutely uh, textbook pattern all the way around yeah so yeah very happy with that and um, once again, like I said, oh, it's just creating a bit of light issues there. Um, started to use the Motive gears again, um, and yeah, very happy with that. They, they're, they're running very quietly as well, um, and very smoothly. So yeah, very happy with that. And I think, uh, 
I think the Reaper charger will be very happy um, once it gets installed as well. So, um, yeah, things are looking good. Alrighty, I'll go ahead and um, and can continue uh, continue finishing that one off. So I've uh, removed the um, the uh, pinion support and pinion uh, from the from the diff. Um, one of the reasons we do that naturally is because we need to put the uh, the o-ring on here. Well, this this one's actually a square square o-ring, as you can sort of see. Um, or you have they do supply to, or there is just the actual o-ring itself. Um, I generally like to use these ones um, as they they tend to put just a little bit more. Um, pressure on around the edges here and, and tend to seal a bit better so yeah once again I think I'll be using that one there um, so yeah and the other reason we remove the, um, the pinion support is we get a better idea of the rotating preload um, so I know that that's that's set up to where it is now I'll mark it if I have to move it but I, on this one I don't have to mark it um, to remove the pinion support which is very handy or I don't, sorry, I don't have to uh, relieve it and move the the, the crown wheel and centre across um, to to be able to to be able to remove it. I'm I'm able to um, to to move that out without without adjusting every anything, which is very handy indeed. Um, as sometimes you need to um, adjust this back to be able to remove the pinion, twist the pinion out. Um, oh, hang on, let me just unlock that. Yeah, to actually twist the twist the pinion out of out of the front so um, as you can see there's not a, a lot of clearance there and and the gears depending on the ratios um, will actually lock up and you can't actually remove it but and this in this case we're able to which is once again like I said very handy um, so yeah once again I'll be leaving around I will leave the same backlash which is eight thou that we've got um, give it a bit more preload as the preload's almost there um, as I can test that quite freely now um, so yeah once again what I'll do is give it a little bit more preload once I've uh, reinstalled the uh, the pinion uh, pinion support and pinion and we should be pretty much pretty much almost done torque down the torque down the pinion bolts um, the pinion support bolts um, and then uh, retention well, readjust the uh, the side and then uh, re retention to the torque setting um, on the main cap bolt. So, yeah, okay, let's get uh, let's get into it. All finished. Um, got the uh, main caps all secured down. 80, um, 80 foot pounds of torque onto those little buggers. Um, once again, we've got an absolutely beautiful pattern. Um, I've re remarked all this naturally as we put it all back together just to make sure everything's correct. Um, got some, some nice preload on the bearings. We've got our desired uh, backlash all the way around which is between 7 and 9 and we've got it at exactly that between 7 and 9. There was a little bit of run out um, but we've managed to get it all within 7 and 9 thou so uh, best of both worlds there because sometimes you just don't achieve that so very happy with all of that. Um, once again turns over really nicely um, uh, yeah really really happy with it all um, sorry about the footage isn't the best I'm just doing with this with my camera so uh, camera with my phone sorry so not with my GoPro um, so please excuse that but uh, yeah once again very happy with it all um, uh, spin it over so yeah just go through um, a few things that we've that we've done to it uh, just before I get it off the bench oh no actually what I'll do is I'll I'll get it off the uh, off the bench mule um, and then I'll uh, I'll go through go through uh, exactly what we've uh, what we've done with it and what we've uh, what we've achieved Got the uh, strange nine inch uh, pro iron case um, off the bench mule. Uh, this one, like I said, is going into the Reaper charger. Some of you may know it who follow 
Facebook and Instagram and that sort of stuff uh, uh, into Dan's Dan's car. We've gone um, once again. We'll just go through a few things that we've done with this one and what we've got for it. We've got the uh, the big strong 1350 yoke, um, Daytona pinion support, solid pinion spacer, uh, new bearings naturally. Um, we've got the uh, strange strange pro iron case, which are a very very nice piece. Um, so yeah, uh, once again, strange pro iron case. Um, in there we've got, sorry for the camera work again, guys. Um, we've got a, 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 a not a Harrop, an Eaton True Track um, by Eaton, 31 spline, uh, 31 spline True Track, and a set of gears. And I won't disclose what ratio they are, but once again, they've set up absolutely beautiful. Really happy with the motives. Uh, once again, how they've been setting up. Um, so yeah, once again, uh, that's the strange 9-inch uh, that's going into the Reaper Charger. Um, I think Dan's going to be very happy with that one once he gets it. And uh, now all we need to do is get him, get him some axles or get him to, to uh, send me over some axles so that I've got some samples to, uh, to get some made up for him so that we get them all exactly what he needs. Alrighty, thanks again for, uh, for joining us. Um, until I'm looking at you all next time, stay safe, Midcoast Tip Shop. Thank <laughs> you.